Hi YouTube, I'm Eric, and thanks for watching this video. It, this is really what happens if you take Adderall and you don't need Adderall and what it does to your brain and your body. I'm ADHD, so I take Adderall. I've taken it for the last 20 years, and it does wonders for me, but it also can definitely be abused. So if you do abuse Adderall, here's what ends up happening to you. Click the like and subscribe button for more information on all of our videos and follow us on uh, all of our social media because I believe in people helping people. I created a company around that. It's called Driven Industries. So click the like and subscribe button down there and come on and join us. So you're taking Adderall recreationally and here is what happens when you do. Uh, I've been taking Adderall for the last 20 years. I'm ADHD. I was diagnosed as a child um, in the seventh grade. And Adderall for me is, is a miracle drug almost in a sense because it allows me to be a productive human being. Where if I don't take it, I'm not very productive at all. I don't get much done at all. It's very hard for me to focus. Um, there's not, I get trapped in my own world and my own thoughts almost, and I can't just stop bouncing off the walls. So taking Adderall to me is a big help, but you know what? I, I've been offered many of times by many people to buy my Adderall from me or to sell my Adderall to a friend uh, because it is taken in, and it is used because it gives a cocaine-like effect. Uh, Adderall, if you're not prescribed to it, what it ends up doing is it affects different chemicals in your brain. Uh, serotonin levels, the biggest one being your dopamine levels. If you don't know what your dopamine levels are, it's the receptors in your brain that, that give you that euphoria, that high feeling, that, that good feeling. You give it about seven hours after taking Adderall where most people are snorting it instead of just taking it in the pill form, which it was designed to do. Your dopamine levels run out, and that's where the irritability, the the depression sets in, the anxiety sets in, and, and the the if you have an addictive personality, the addictive personality kicks in of, of wanting to retain and regain that high. So if you're taking Adderall and you don't need it, you got to remember the, that it's affecting about seven different chemicals in your brain. Uh, with me, it affects those chemicals, but. I can maintain it and it doesn't have any of these real adverse effects. Uh, it doesn't have the adverse effects of depression or anxiety when I'm coming down off of it. Um, my body is very used to it and it's something that I take on a daily basis to maintain my sanity almost in a sense of, of being productive. But when you're taking it recreationally, your body's not used to that jolt. You know, it, it's the same as cocaine. I mean, you're, you're getting the dry mouth. You're, you're going to end up probably getting the sniffles because you just snorted something up your nose that you weren't supposed to. So, I mean, brain effects on it, you know, you're going to hit the depression, you're going to have the anxiety, you're going to have the jitters, as you want to say. Um, and you're also going to notice a big fluctuation in your, in your moods because as soon as that dopamine level drops, your mood's going to drop right with it. And if you have addictive personality, you're going to be wanting more of it and you're going to want to try and maintain and regain that high so bad. So, I mean, that's one of the big negative effects of, of trying to take Adderall recreationally. I mean... Trust me, it's, it, I mean, I've done a lot of drugs in my life and I'm not necessarily proud of it. I don't mind sharing my experiences in it, but Adderall is definitely one of those when it comes to some of these medical drugs, we don't realize also the adverse effects we have because we think, hey, this person's taking it. It's okay for me just to experiment with it and have a little bit of fun. Physically, what you're going to end up feeling, I mean, you can get insomnia from it. Um, you're going to get weight loss from it. You get the decreased appetite that you're going to have coming from it. Um, but you're also going to have this increased blood pressure. You're going to have an increased heart rate. Uh, people do have heart attacks from taking Adderall when they're not supposed to because it is that jolt to your system. Um, but you are going to feel these different increases and, and you're going to have the sweaty palms. You're going to have the shakes. That's what it's going to do to you just like it can when you, when you take cocaine or when you take a, you know an upper like that because that's what Adderall essentially is. Um, you know, caffeine affects me differently than somebody that's not ADD. Same with, you know, Adderall is going to affect me way differently than somebody who's not ADD or ADHD, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, when you're taking Adderall, just, you got to be aware of the adverse effects because a lot of times, especially teens, and I do a lot of work in, ta in talking with kids, they don't realize it. You know, it's, it's a pill. What's, what's it going to do? What's it going to hurt? It's not like cocaine. It's not like heroin. You know what? Any drug out there is a drug. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, go to an AA meeting, talk to me about it because I'm a recovering alcoholic. That's the worst drug in the world to me, and you can go buy it legally as long as you're 21. So, I mean, the big adverse effects that you're going to have physically to it, though, is you are going to have a, a decrease of energy all of a sudden once it drops because your whole body drops because of your heart rate, uh, your blood pressure was up. All that decreases in your body, and it will physically wear you down. 
Um, you may not be able to end up sleeping then and the lack of sleep is just going to end up adding to it. Now you take into the fact that you know your dopamine levels are off and now you're depressed, sad, moody. It, it really can send you for a whirlwind. So my biggest suggestion is, is, I mean, if you don't need to take Adderall, don't be taking Adderall. It's, it's not designed and used for recreation. So I wanted just to share that with you. I mean, those are really, that's what Adderall does to your brain. I mean, the, the easiest drug that I can relate Adderall to is cocaine. Um, it, it gives you that high, and unfortunately, a lot of people take it just like they do cocaine, where they're snorting it. Uh, trust me, it's not worth it. There's other things to do to get high off of life. There's other joys out there to have than you know sitting there and, and, and taking these as a recreational use. So, you know, if you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel yet, the like and subscribe button's right down there. Hit the like and subscribe. Love to have you with us. Everybody who joins our channel, I. I Thank you so much because it means the world to me and I love making a difference in everybody's lives. So new videos coming out all week here, uh, some new blogs on our website. Always check out our website at areyoudriven.com because hey, it's people helping people and just sharing our experiences and sharing the tools that we have.